So, I wanted to talk to you all this morning about mindfulness and the ability to keep calm and carry on. A little over a year ago, I started hearing a lot about mindfulness and got curious and thought, you know, I should give this a try. And I really liked it, so I've been doing it ever since. And I wanted to invite all of you to try it too. So we're going to just take 20 seconds to do a body scan. You're going to start your head and work your, work, work your way all the way down to your toes. And just try and notice any sensations, any emotions you might have. Maybe there's some anxiety, some excitement about today. Right? So ready and... Now maybe you're feeling a little bit more calm. Maybe you're feeling more stressed because you notice that you're stressed. And that's okay. It's all about just checking in with yourself, right? Finding out what's happening in your mind. So oftentimes we check in and find out our mind looks like that first bubble, right? It's busy, it's chaotic, it's full of thoughts and worries and plans racing around. And then as the day progresses, it gets busier and starts to feel overwhelming. So mindfulness helps us learn how to actually let those thoughts and feelings come and go much more easily. So you get to get some headspace back. Right? Like that second bubble, which I think we would all love. And what I've seen over the past year or so doing mindfulness is that there are these five core abilities that you start to develop as you practice. Right? The ability to be still, to be aware, to be curious, empathetic, and peaceful. And each one of these starts with something as simple as your breath. Right? It's this tool that we have with us all the time that we often don't even pay attention to. But as you start to focus on your breath, right, you start to just breathe, you gain this ability to be still and to be comfortable with being still. Right? And that's something that we often don't give ourselves the time for in our classroom. And we often don't make the time for our students to just be still and to breathe. So as you're sitting there and you're being still, you're becoming more aware, not just of your breath, but of your thoughts and your feelings, right? like our body scan. And then of the environment around you. So you might notice, oh, there's actually a slight breeze today, or the rain here in Odyssey, that you didn't even hear because you're not taking the time to be mindful. And as you become more aware, you begin to be able to label these feelings and these emotions. And one of the beautiful things about mindfulness is that it's a very non judgmental approach. So you're not saying, oh, I notice I'm anxious and I don't want to be anxious and I need to get rid of the anxiety. Instead, it's more of, oh, that's anxiety. That's okay. And you can start to let those things come and go, right, without resisting them or holding on to them. So as you start to label these things, you make space to be more curious, to think about, hmm, why am I having that thought? Or where is this tightness coming from, right? Curious about your own thoughts and feelings, but then also some curiosity about those of thoughts and feelings of the people around you. So as you begin to be more curious, you begin to be more empathetic. And you think about your students, right, and your colleagues. What are they thinking about and feeling in any given moment? Modeling that for your students, but also inviting them to practice this too, right? As they're more mindful, they're beginning to be more empathetic with their peers. And wonder and think about what are they thinking and feeling at any given time. And that's such a strong thing to have in the classroom, right? To build that class community between you and them and between their peers themselves. So you're not only getting to know yourself better through mindfulness, you're getting to know others. And I've really seen this in my own students who I've started to practice mindfulness with. Not only that they're getting more still, more aware when we're doing these exercises, they're actually getting more peaceful. So here you can see some of my students standing there, taking that first deep breath in, right? And you can see them start to find that place of stillness. And as I watch them practice this, you can see the change, the peace come over them. And it's so powerful to remember that not only are our own minds so busy and chaotic, but our students are too. At any age, right, their minds are racing around. And it's so important for us to give them this time to just to be still and to breathe, right? So I want to challenge all of you today to walk out of here and think, you have another tool in your toolbox. You have your breath, right? And it's with you anywhere, anytime. You can start to use it, to focus on it, to be more still, more, more still, more aware, more empathetic, more peaceful, right? All the five things 
will be with you as you start to focus on your breath. 